Rome, the Eternal City. I have seen the end of days, and years from now, men will say, here began the fall of Rome. Welcome back guys. Unite the clans here back in your life with some more Total War Attila. This is episode 6 in our campaign as the Picts to unite Britannia under a Celtic High King. And that man, the man who we hope will become that king, is Andy. King Andy right here. He is leading one army, and Akutios is leading an, an, another on the outskirts of Ablana, the Abdanian capital. Last episode, we took the fight to them in sort of a sneak attack, sent these armies over this little land bridge, and we fought them on the outskirts of the city, sent their forces running. So all they have left now uh, are the Blades Runners here, plus the city garrison, and the horns of Cernunos, which seem to be on the run. Now, it wasn't the smoothest battle in the world. We took some losses, but it was a glorious one. There was a point where that battle seemed like it was on the verge of turning against us, where we were about to lose momentum and uh, potentially have uh, our forces rout. Uh, at that point, I threw King Andy into the fight. 160 men strong. He launched in there, turned the tide of the battle, lost 150 of his men in the process, so that at the end of the battle, it was just him and nine of his most elite uh, uh, Celtic warlords. Uh, at the end of the battle, we did get some replenishment, so his unit's a little stronger now, but we, to be honest, we're in, in pretty rough shape. Uh, and you know, there are benefits to attacking the enemy on the outskirts of the city. You get to uh, get to fight them without their defenses, and they can choose whether to sally out with their big army and join you on the field of battle outside. The downside, though, is that we still have to take Ablana. We need this port city. Uh, so we have one more battle to fight. Uh, we're in rough shape financially up here. You can see that. Uh, and then, uh, and then we still have to go in and take Ablana uh, to make it worth our while. So while we've got these armies, I want two pounds. We got two of them on the outside. Here are the Heralds of Death under Akuchios, and here are the Thunderbolts of Tyrannus. Uh, now, uh, I have got a plan to wrap this series up. So guys, I think I'm going to revise our objectives. Originally, the plan was to take all of Britannia here, including these three cities in the south. But uh, the bottom line is, this is not the most popular series uh, on my channel, and it might make sense for me to wrap it up and bring you guys something new that perhaps you are going to love. So the new game plan is, is to kind of bring this to a close. Uh, there's going to be at least one more episode after this one. Hopefully we take Ablana in this one. Maybe we take Lindum in the next. I have this grand vision of like a father-son army. Maybe we get three armies outside the city led by uh, Andacambogios, uh, Cam, and Sedgevax. And we march down and we take Lindum. And maybe that'll be the glorious conclusion this series needs. But where we stand now, uh, we've got these two armies on the outskirts. And you know what? Financially, we're in a little trouble. So thinking about... Uh, bringing the series to a close and maybe creating those father and son armies. Uh, I'm going to do a couple quick little changes. I'm going to remove uh, one of the boys uh, from office here. I think I'll leave Sedgevax and maybe I'll boot Cam. Where are you, Cam? And Kasikos is not going to make a great, great statesman. Uh, I've checked out his stats. He's really not the best for it. Be boring. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. public order down. So we're, we're not even going to think about putting him in. We'll leave that empty for now. We'll slot Cam into one of the armies, and then maybe we'll move one of those uh, displaced generals back into uh, governorship. Uh, now, the cities we've got, 
plague has finally lifted, as far as I can tell, in Tuasis, public order uh, is fairly stable. There will be rebellion there in 17 turns, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. And Ildon, uh, again, 17 turns, and then uh, it's entirely stabilizing in Aboracum here. So I don't want to be recruiting more units, but maybe, maybe one cheap unit uh, makes sense. What's got the lowest upkeep? Woodrunners, pretty cheap. Archers are pretty cheap. Yeah, we'll give them a unit of archers. Uh, those are cheap to recruit and cheap to maintain, and uh, you know that might make the difference there. Uh, at Aboricum, it's stable. Uh, so this is where we've got uh, the Old Amri right now. Uh, we're going to keep these armies where they're at. We're going to try and avoid uh, the, the rebellion. And we're going to take these guys into battle. But at the moment, these armies, like I said, are in rough shape. So we're going to maybe combine uh, what we can here. Got a lot of experienced troops. And I, you know, maybe I can combine the, combine the two that don't have the experience. Uh, this will help us reduce costs, you can see already up there. I would really love to have two units of spears. We're not able to recruit here, but we are able to hire mercenaries which obviously costs mo money. Uh, we can maybe reduce this down to a force of maybe four cavalry units, something like that. So let's combine you guys, and let's combine... Oh, not you. Combine you guys. It's been a little while for me, guys. I got, like, almost two weeks ahead in my recordings, videos uploaded and scheduled, everything like that, so I decided to take a little time off for myself, took uh, almost a week off last week, uh, just to relax, clear my head, and uh, get a clear idea of where I want to take the channel. Now, uh, that means it's been freaking ages since I've been playing any real Total War. So I'm shrinking these forces down. I think we'll have to combine these, and maybe I'll hire a... Uh, we're going to have to keep Andy safe, man. Uh, I'll hire... Yeah, we got a little room to expand the army. Uh, I'm going to bring in the catapults, uh, so I'm not going to hire any of those, but I will maybe hire a uh, couple units of uh, cheap infantry here. Yeah, we'll go with uh, one unit of spears. That'll bring us to 17, and maybe uh, yeah, a couple more frontline units uh, to fill in around these wood runners. Oh, that's using up our cash quick. Oh, there's only one to recruit, I see. Uh, so we'll throw another unit opposite uh, these on the flank. Uh, we got horse for the flank. Yeah, I think we just need to beef up the front line. Uh, so that'll bring us to 17, 18, and actually, you know what? That's it, because we're going to pick up those two uh, catapults, the uh, onagers from Cascos's, Cascos, Acuchios' army. Can't we? Can't we do that? Okay. Force Traditions. Uh, we're going to go with Wardens of the Tribe, which doesn't help us now. Um, but, oh, you know what? Yeah, we'll just do that. None of these are really going to help us uh, that much at the moment. Am I crazy? I thought I should be able to combine these units together. Uh, but it's not letting me. Maybe it's because we're in the the zone of attack so you know what uh, I'll head over here for King Andy and we'll hire um, hire one catapult uh, yeah we'll bring that in and then Acuchios will roll in with two uh, he doesn't have any cavalry but our our actual income is so ridiculously low right now that uh, that he's not going to be able to uh, to afford to bring those in so we're going to take these two units, and we are going to attack. Uh, yeah, guys, we are ready uh, ready to go. You get a battle right off the freaking top this time. Uh, Oblana, uh, the, the garrison is decimated. We've got one small army here and another one here that might be able to back up. Uh, and we killed their high king last time around, so I don't even know if they've got one. So Acuchios will be our backup army. It's much smaller. And King Andy will move in first. 
to the city of Ablana. So they get a Lixo and uh, a couple of Celtic bows from that first army. You get the garrison here, and yes, they are backing up with that third army. The Horns of Ser Nunos, I think, and these guys are called the Blade Dancers, something like that. Does a night attack help us? It does actually help us, but uh, then we don't get to use a Kuchios. You know what? Uh, let's, uh, let's do this thing. Uh, we'll attack during the day, and uh, yeah, we, we are going to get it on. So here we go, guys. We are going to be able to set up anywhere on the outskirts of the city here. We don't have a navy. They don't have a navy for this battle. Uh, so, you know, it should be should be a fairly quick one. We're going to be able to sweep in, take care of them. Uh, although I'm excited. I mean, every episode of this series has managed to have a battle in it now. Uh, and hopefully we got one more uh, for the episode next week, uh, which, of course, might be the last. I have a grand plan uh, for taking uh, Lindum in the south there. I want to set us up with a father armies for uh, King Andy and each of his sons. And we are going to, you know, finish this off with a glorious father and son victory. So I like this. I have fought battles in this city before, guys. Uh, I think in my, my personal campaign as the Geats, I think uh, when you attack Alibu, the uh, Judish uh, capital, I think that's what this looks like. Uh, Either way, is that the American flag? What's going on down there? <laughs> uh, either way, I'm pretty sure the best way to attack is from here. Our reinforcements are coming in all the way on the other side here. Uh, so it might be, a, might be a slow approach for them. But we're going to come in from this angle here. We're going to set ourselves up uh, so we're out of range of these towers. Yeah, so we want to be at least back here. Give me a sec, guys. I'm going to set us all up, and I will be back with you in just a moment. All right, guys. So I think I'm all set up. I've got the catapults up front here. They are just out of the range of this uh, tower here. Can't see it. But uh, they're going to be able to uh, flatten it. Uh, oh, they're actually just in range. Glad I checked that. So we'll set them up back here. So catapults. Our uh, group 8, we've got them back here. Groups 9 and 10 are on our flanks. The two cavalry groups, uh, just to protect us from being flanked, which is also what the spears are for. we got group 2 here, group 3 here. Group 2's in spear wall, group 3 not capable of it. Uh, the other mercenaries I hired, uh, other than those spears, group 4, I've put back here with King Andy. Uh, I wanted a unit just to protect and safeguard him in case... You know, my poor generalship leads to him getting attacked when I don't want him to be. Uh, these guys are here, sort of a, a personal guard. Group 1, as usual, are wood runners, but a much weakened unit of wood runners compared to what we had. So I'm going to try and preserve these guys. I've got them set up to leap into shield wall. Uh, and then as for our skirmishers, group 5 on flame shot, archers back here. Group 6, mixed right in with them. We got those guys on heavy shot. So we'll try and get group 5 on the cavalry if they sally out, and group 6 on their general and other heavy infantry. Uh, and then group 7, got those javelins. They have been devastating, so I've got them lined up right along the first line right there, and they're on fire at will. Uh, as I mentioned, our reinforcements coming from uh, all the way over here uh, on the battlefield. And we're going to move in. We're going to try and get to uh, this capture point up here. I don't know if that wins us the battle. No. Battlefield morale bonus. Uh, so let's line up and let's get this thing started. Get ready for the music to get more epic. Ready? Yeah, baby. Okay, so. They seem to be moving up a little bit. And they're getting reinforcements. Where from? Oh, is that on our flank? No, no, no. Okay. Oh, yeah, behind us. Jis Lu East. Uh, okay, uh, we're, we're gonna have to get ready. Uh, we're gonna have to move up quicker than I thought. Uh, so let's move two of these horse up to pick a fight with those guys. And we'll move these two back. Uh, we'll throw you guys in skirmish mode and turn you off fire at will. And you're gonna have to uh, 
No, you're going to have to mess with these guys. You know what? We should almost swing back with a full army and try and hit these guys. Oh, this... You know what? This is going to be a bit tough. We should have set up closer to our reinforcements. I'm a fool. Uh, this might be a rough battle here, guys. And I'm going to pull this unit of spears back here. That might be enough to uh, to deter them. And this one can move up a little bit. Is this tower down yet? Jeez Louise. Let's put you on... Why do I keep saying Jeez Louise? And I'm not even saying it. I'm saying it like I'm talking to a Hispanic person. Luis. So they are bringing their cavalry up on the right side. Their archers are just getting into position to wreck us. So we're going to have to send one unit down here to, to give them problems. And you know what? We'll send you into the horse, free up the other horses, and bring you back. And you know what? Bring you back too. Maybe, maybe on that flank, because that flank's looking a little, little weak right now. Uh, and where are our fricked up reinforcements? Move in and move in quick. I wish I'd given him some cav. Uh, yeah, you go get these guys. And you guys go get these guys too. Uh, okay. So we've got them routed. I want you each to take a unit and charge them off the battlefield. And you gotta pull away. Let's get spears out here. Just stretch the line out a little bit to the left here. And we'll get our archers and our other skirmishers firing. Their general is an archer. Oh, cool. I'm going to put these guys in fast advance. I'll throw them in skirmish mode. Uh, I'm a little worried about that. I'm going to have to bring one of my cavalry back. Let's, let's run. Let's run indeed. All right, these archers are on heavy shot. I know that's archers, but they're a general nonetheless. They're gonna charge us. Why would they charge us? Spears into the horse right now. Swords into the back of the general. And you know what? Let's bring the other units of woodrunners back here. Actually, screw it. We'll move up. Okay. Kill their general. Is that tower still standing? I swear to God I told you to wreck it. Oh, you out of ammo. You fools. All right, we're going to have to do a little flame shot action on there. Group five, fast advance, and go take this thing down. Group six. Yeah, you can keep keep firing on them. Let's uh, let's abandon this equipment. That was f a foolish waste of ammunition. I don't know how you didn't manage to burn down a house. But we'll move those infantry up here. Uh, and excellent. They're retreating directly into us here. Oh, yep. Yeah, come with me. Come with me, Kuchos. And this whole group can sprint. All right. And then you guys can stop chasing them down, and you can move yourself up along with uh, along with this group here. Where's King Andy? All right. Now, have we definitively finished the battle over here? It doesn't look like we have. I pulled that cavalry away and 
then we might be in trouble. So I'll send these uh, skirmishers back. Uh, we just don't have much cav to to attack them with. Uh, so let's let's try and move up. I don't know what they have left in the city, but uh, I'm guessing it's not much. Their general has already sallied out, and we've seen about as many units as we know they have. Well, why are you guys stopped? I tried to get you into this fight. Oh, I need more cavalry. I need more cavalry. Especially if we're going to take that last city. Uh, and let's get these other bows. Group 5, group 6. Let's get you on flame shot. Maybe go take out this thing. Come on, this tower is freaking invincible. Uh, we're getting pummeled here. Group 1, why don't we just move up? I know I said I was going to try and protect them. We'll keep them in shield wall. Group 2, you can move up here. Spear wall, group 4, I have got deployed elsewhere. So King Andy can move up over here. Is that, would that be dumb? We'll keep him out of range. Keep him right out of range, just to be safe. And who are you guys? Oh yeah, you'll stay stay back with King Andy, just, just to be safe. All right, and then where are these forces? Oh, they're getting there. Let's not, let's not bother with chasing them down. And a couple units of these. Sick, sick you guys on this. For f finally! Alright, go break this down. Sadly, we are burning the city down. That wasn't my plan. Turning off fire at will. Uh, put you guys in skirmish mode. Same with you guys. I don't want you burning down the whole city if we can avoid it. And did we save one unit of cavalry? We did. Where did I send them? Oh, they're going up through. They're probably getting wrecked by that tower right now. Yeah, they are. Yeah, run. Run, run, run. Okay, you guys, this battle has, has turned in our favor a little bit here. Yeah, we got them routing. All right, I think that will do it. A quick... And yet another glorious victory. Let's end it now and hopefully we get some solid uh, replenishment from all these captured troops. End it. Oh, the old crotch kick. Followed by the old axe to the neck. A pretty smooth move if you ask me. They survived? Oh yeah, I guess they did. Uh, but enemy captured 51. What about all these clowns? I guess they're gonna flee. I don't know. Uh, yeah All right, so we do still need to uh, loot uh, Some other spots and damn could we use that cash? Uh, we need I think to loot three spots uh, It's part of our minor victory. We're not gonna get there. You got to control 25 settlements, but I want to loot this one Let's this do it so we are oh would they die yeah okay we killed them Ibdanians done uh, and now all of Caledonia and Hibernia is under control and we're one city away from taking Britannia inferior so that is the new game plan these troops uh, I want to combine these armies as much as we can Akuchios I'm gonna leave him uh, here I think uh, and we'll just leave him like one of these little armies here. Um, just so he can maintain public order here. He's probably going to need a few units to do it. Alright, you take that. Acuccio, so let's uh, shrink your force down, my friend. Uh, you can get rid of her. And this. Oh, not these two though. Uh, I've left him with the less experienced troops. Uh... Do I want to delete the selection? Yes, I do. All right, so you're going to stay here, set up camp. Uh, King Andy, we're going to leave him in the city for uh, a couple of turns so he can replenish, uh, at least replenish his, his personal Celtic warlord uh, unit because having 38 of them is, is not good. Uh, and you can fortify, I guess. Now you'll just wait your turn. 
Uh, yeah, okay. So that is, I believe, the end of this turn. Let's check out anything else we might need. Household gained. Heroic German warrior. Oh my, Gaelic. Aaron and Barakbad uniform. Sh shells and shlamis. Uh, these are some hard words to pronounce, and I pride myself on being able to pronounce some hard words. Uh, so units recruited, none. Trespasses. Yeah, heralds of death and thunderbolts. That happens. Path blocked. Huh. Well, that obviously didn't matter. Took war to the Abdanians. Battle reports. Close victory outside Ablana and a decisive victory uh, in the actual city. Deaths. That all happened last turn. We killed all three of those guys. The first attack in military traditions. So Kutios rank up. Ablana occupied. Province secured. An enemy settlement looted. We got some cash now and we're going to make some cash next turn. So we're going to be in a good spot to raise the armies we need to raise. Uh, now actually the more I think about it, I'm thinking I might move King Andy uh, over here while it's summer. I don't know why you would choose to do it that way. Can't you go to sea? Yeah, and then you can come aboard here. Or here. Yeah, so you're going to go to Aboracum, Acuchios, you take up residence in the city, not in the port, in the actual city, thank you. Uh, and uh, we'll get ready to start building the trio of armies that's going to march down on Lindum. Uh, but for the time being, guys, let's just uh, let's just give Acuchios his upgrades, and we'll look at these household items uh, when it comes time to raising those armies and assigning new governors. Uh, so more zeal doesn't seem like a bad thing and uh that one's a good one too local province so when his army is in ablana it'll help with public order so actually you know what we should uh remove that we should give him both of these so a public order bonus of four in the local province uh, that is a that is a conqueror's trait if i've ever seen one so let's call an end uh to this turn and you know what guys, I think I may also call an end uh, to this episode. Uh, I think we're probably uh, a good ways into this one. Uh, so I'm gonna call an end to the turn. Next turn will be next episode. And next episode may be a long one. I'm gonna make it as long as it needs to be, I think, for us to move down and capture Lindum. Uh, and then we will call an end to this series with a glorious victory. Uh, so as it stands now, I'm going to wrap things up, and uh, I will see all y'all uh, in fall 399. So that is my game plan. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Unite the Clans, and I'll be back in your life next week with the seventh and potentially final episode of our Picts campaign. Hopefully, uh, we crown King Andy king in the north will control both these provinces uh, and you know what if you guys bug me enough if you tell me you love it enough i may return the series to come and finish the conquest down here in the south carinium uh, lindinium and uh, camelodunum uh, but for now our goal is lindum war with the jutes and uh, another epic victory thanks for watching guys and i will see all y'all next time